I'll get the vehicle started for you and effectively there's this transition now between me giving control to the vehicle. So the first thing I'll do is engage our systems and that's the last time I need to touch the steering wheel. The rest of the controls now are from here on the central dashboard. So I can tell it to start my route and you can see the steering's already come to life. So now it's up to me when I want to start my journey. So I can choose now to take my feet off the pedals. The vehicle's detected that and taken full control for me. You are completely driverless right now? I am not touching the controls of the car at all. And uh, how does it know what speed to go? You've programmed that, presumably. Yeah, so the, the car has a map of this city we're in, and that map has speed limits. So as long as there's no obstructions in its path, it's going to try and achieve those speed limits. And what if something goes wrong? A kid suddenly runs in front of the car. What's going to happen then? Uh, this particular car isn't designed for those kind of scenarios, but there's a lot of ex existing prototypes for that. In fact, there's consumer cars you can buy today that already have uh, pedestrian detection and collision avoidance systems. It's, Tim, it's, it's not much fun, is it, when you're being driven around? It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit nicer to have control, isn't it? I would say that there's parts of the driving job which are really enjoyable. A country lay on a quiet day, but most of us have a commute to work that involves sitting in traffic and isn't much fun at all. Just tell us about some of the technology here now. Uh, okay, so this car is using high-grade GPS and it's using wireless communications to make sure it's constantly updated with what's happening in the world around it. And now what have we got? What, what, what's this in here? We've got radars. Tell us what we've got in the car. We've got a radar on the top. We've got something in the grill. There's a, a radar on the front of the grill, which is looking for vehicles and obstacles in front of us. Yep. Uh, there's high-grade GPS on the roof telling us where we are and there's wireless communications uh, telling other vehicles around us what we're doing and communicating with things like traffic lights. And you've built in your own steering technology here, haven't you? We've had, we, yeah, we've modified this vehicle, we've retrofitted our own steering control, but we have actually repurposed a lot of the existing electronics that came in this car uh, to do some of the driving tasks for us. And, and this, is your, this is your route here, it's all mapped out, you're not driving at all right now, um, this is the future. Driverless cars is going to be a fundamentally disruptive technology. It changes the automotive industry, but it also offers a whole new type of public transport. 